I'll state the first half of a bizarre but true fact, then I'll show you three possible endings. You'll win a point for guessing what the correct second half of the fact is. Starting with you, Tom and Joanne. Tina Turner has been used to... Sell mullets. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Right, let's see the options. We've got Tina Turner has been used to... A, advertise corned beef in South Korea. B, scare pigeons at Gloucestershire Airport. Or C, rehabilitate violent prisoners in Mexico. Ooh! It actually nice. could be... It could. She's, she's so talented, it could be any of those. Yeah, I would, <laughs> I would... If I was in prison in Mexico, I would love to hear some Tina Turner. If you was in prison in Mexico, that would be the least of your worries. <laughs> I tell you, I reckon, I reckon I'd be having the time of my life. <laughs> Enchiladas, anybody? I'm just imagining you in like, an ironed prison jumpsuit. <laughs> I can see how <laughs> Tina's lived a life. Yeah. I would say, I would say it's C. I would say she's been used to rehabilitate violent prisoners in Mexico. That's why she's so toned. <laughs> People get to that level of success and money where they start after doing things like good for the world, don't they? They can't just keep. Which isn't money. scaring pigeons at Gloucestershire Airport. Should we go for that again? Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire? Yeah. <laughs> First time I've ever been able to pronounce someone better than someone. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pigeon fan, aren't you? You're obsessed with pigeons. I am a pigeon I've fan. I've done my research. I'm the fat guy. Yeah, I'm a, fat. Bit, I know, so I'm a bit of a pigeon fancier. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So, what's your involvement with pigeons? Fancy them. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that, is that right? Do you race them? Do you just like them? No. So I like I'm not that involved. <laughs> Although I would consider it. Really? If you yeah. had the space to sort of just keep them. I don't think I have enough time to raise a baby, but I reckon I'd raise the pi I could raise pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, that's a, a kind of enough commitment or responsibility. Really? No, I do. I'm very fond of pigeons. They're incredibly intelligent animals. They're basically like feathered taxi men. If yeah. you put them in literally a tumble dryer yeah. and like and take them all the way, I think it's like 1,300 miles away from the house, they'll find their way back. And no-one knows how... Would they be dead? Yeah. I would so you, <laughs> just on a low tumble. So if you put a pigeon in a tumble dryer, it'll find its way home. <laughs> <laughs> is, that Boom. Oh. is that true? What I'm saying is if you discombobulate it. All about corned beef in South Korea. I, I feel like that might be it, because knowing as I do about Tina Turner's life, she went through a divorce. Yeah. And um, he kept... He kept all the rights to her song, so she didn't have any... She didn't have very much money. She might well have done something like an advert abroad to um, bolster her funds. That is a thing people do, isn't it? Like, big yeah. Hollywood actors and yeah. singers do weird adverts in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> what are you going for? Pigeons, oh. beef or Mexico? My gut says... Mexico. She, it seems like something she'd do. She's a Buddhist now. Is she? Yeah, yeah that great that. Buddhist yeah. country, Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> She's Buddhist. It's something she would do. OK, so you think Tina Turner has been used to rehabilitate violent prisoners in Mexico. Let's see what the correct answer is. <laughs> Bees! No. Yeah. Oh. Pigeons! At Gloucestershire Airport. That That's can't right. be true. I would have heard that? about that. Well, <laughs> you're not as uh, clued up on pigeons as you like to boast, Joanne. <laughs> Tina's music is blasted out at high volume from a van that drives around the grounds of the airport. No points there, I'm afraid. You got it wrong. Never mind. Yeah, what a shame. Michael and Aaron, here's one for you. Approximately 10% of people in Europe... Anything jumping at Ooh. you? 10% of people in Europe have the final countdown as their ringtone. I'm <laughs> guessing it's Europe the band. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Good, point. Oh. Good point well raised. It's the inhabitants of Europe. OK, here are your options. A. Were conceived on an Ikea bed. <laughs> B, have never been up the Eiffel Tower. Mm, mm, mm. Or C, own a pair of espadrilles. <laughs> have you got Ikea beds? I, I do have an Ikea bed, yeah. Yeah? Have you conceived on it? No. <laughs> the idea of children terrify me. Like, <laughs> yeah, they are it... awful, to be fair. But that's well, not well, well the question here is, do you yeah. think that, like, 10% of people in Europe have an Ikea, have an Ikea, bed. Ikea bed, basically, that, and then a conceived. That seems likely to me. Ikea is very popular. Eiffel Tower's been there ages. It has that been there true. ages. And espadrilles are very popular in... You know, I think but, it's B, I'm not gonna lie. But if it's B, uh -huh. that implies that 90% of people in Europe have been to the Eiffel that's Tower. That's very true. And that seemed like a lot of people to get into a tower. I don't <laughs> yeah. think it's at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was one mental bank it. holiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just carnage, um, it was free, everyone it must, went. It must be more than the Ike, more than that for the IKEA bed. Everyone's got an IKEA bed, right? I mean I haven't, but other people <laughs> have got <laughs> I'm right. gonna pull you up on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you thinking then, lads? Okay, uh, we'll go for we'll go for the espadrilles. 
Okay, I was going to say A, but I'm happy to. So you, you want to go A? You want to go espadrilles? We're going to go for C. We're going to go for C. C. Oh. You think 10% of people in Europe own a pair of espadrilles? Are oh, you right? Oh, you're wrong. Oh, Aaron was right. 10% were conceived on an IKEA bed. The first <laughs> IKEA shop was in 1958. Okay, if I'd known that, that is very long, though, isn't it? That is in time. Well, old. British people are cheap, but you're not in Europe anymore. So I'd say that drops the percentage right. Uh, now. <laughs> I actually think one of my kids may have been conceived on an IKEA bed, which is why I'm banned from the Croydon branch. <laughs> <laughs>